Uh, he's going for Scary Face, which is, uh, he looks pretty scary, if I do say so myself. If I saw this thing under my bed, I think I'd probably, uh, well, I probably wouldn't have time to, uh, to, to be scared, because he's so, like, you know, powerful, he'd probably, like, eat me immediately, but if he was under my bed, I'd probably be very scared. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to sleep in my bed anymore. Well, I don't think he'd fit under my bed, I'm looking under my bed, and there's not a, there's not much room for a Palkia to fit under my bed. You know, we're gonna look up how tall a Palkia is. Palkia height. And let's see what comes up. Palkia is 13 feet 9 inches tall. Yeah, if he, if he squeezed, I think he'd fit under my bed. Yeah, that seems about right. Alright, Palkia, you can, uh, just don't show up under my bed. Under my bed. Hey, how's it going everybody? Sinostage here, welcoming you all back to the Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke, Episode 8, Wednesday's episode. How is your guys' day going? Hopefully it is going pretty good. I'm here at 8.47pm, breaking the fourth wall on Wednesday night, recording the third day in a row, the like three hours before it goes up, so I'm incredibly tired, so we may have a bit of sleepy commentary in today's episode, but that's okay. Because it doesn't matter in the Pokemon Platinum Random Us and does lock the most fun Pokemon series on YouTube, at least to me, in my opinion. I have a lot of fun recording this, and I hope you all have a lot of fun watching it. Uh, so we're going to hop right into this episode today. Last time, guys, we made it all the way from Florama Town to Eterna City. Today, we're going to get a couple of encounters and probably take on the gym. So let's get a couple of likes for that. The hype gym battle. Let's hope it's a lot easier than the Rourke's gym because Rourke absolutely bodied us. But we're going to go in for a quick team recap. Uh, starting off the team, we have Bumble, the female bomb. So holding the quick claw, lacks nature, but always sassy in my heart. Simple nature, simple nature, nope. Simple ability, prone to wild stat changes, rocking the moves Swagger, Rock Smash, Razor Leaf, and Icy Wind. Learned Swagger in the last episode. Then we have Minivan the Weavile, Never Melt Ice Holding, uh, Gentle Nature, Blaze to power up the fire type moves she just does not have, rocking the moves Icy Wind, Screech, Faint Attack, and Quick Attack. Next up we have Jurgen the Ponyta Male, no item unfortunately adamant nature though with the water absorbability which is absolutely amazing for a ponyta uh rocking the moves of flame wheel i almost said fire wheel flame wheel stomp tail whip and ember next we have hulk at the barbo still holding her lucky punch don't know what it does don't care what it does it's hers i'm not gonna take it uh with the quirky nature uh with insomnia ability which will hopefully change when she evolves into whiz cash with insomnia it's good but you know it's not it's not the best which, by the way, I looked it up in the last episode, and she does evolve at level 30. Looked it up after the last episode. Correcting myself. Don't want to be wrong. Uh, with the move Mud Bomb, Amnesia, Water Sport, and Water Gun. Next, we have Shiny the Flygon, one of our MVPs of the team, carrying us through all of those tough fights. Ground Dragon type, no item. Mild Nature, Rain Dish, which could come in handy. You never know if we have the rain up. Uh, Rock and the Move, Sonic Boom, Sand Attack, Fan Attack, Sand Tube. Also, looked up some stuff on Shiny the Flygon, and it turns out these are the first four moves that she learns, and she learns them twice, all at level 1 once, and then she learns them throughout her learn set up to like level 30. So we probably won't be getting any moves on her for a while, which is unfortunate, but she's still a freaking beast. Uh, finally, rounding off the party with the newest addition to the team, Mrs. Claus, the Scizor with Bug Steel type, Lonely Nature, Adaptability, which is the main thing that got her onto the team, Bullet Punch, Quick Attack, Leer are her moves, did not get a chance to train her up in between episodes, so I'm sorry about that, but if we do see something that she can, uh, you know, switch into and not have to fear Pursuit, because that's my biggest fear, is throwing, into some throwing her into something that has Pursuit and immediately losing her, because she is too good to just sacrifice like that, so we're gonna put her in the third slot, just in case we see a double battle. And if we see something, we'll switch her in and switch trainer. Uh, so, we're going to start off the episode now. Hopefully you guys are excited. We're going to run right out of the Pokemon Center. Last time we talked to Cynthia, we kind of ignored her. Here's a Team Clerk grunt. Hey, you. Yeah, you, trainer. Uh, it's okay. Never mind. You look tough. That's, that's darn right I'm tough. And my game froze. Wait. Don't know why that happened. He said, uh, maybe I'm just so tough that my game just closed. <laughs> he said, I won't take, um... 
I'll just let you keep your Pokemon. Carry on. Well, thank you, Team Clerk. That is very nice of you. Uh, but we did leave a couple of encounters up here. We did get Mrs. Claus. He likes her milk and cookies over in the pond. We did leave this route over here and the cave for encounters. We get an encounter. This will probably be named after what Tip Top Games requested yet again. Very strange request, but I'll honor it nonetheless. He said, if you want to name it, I can actually pull it up because I do have my phone on me real quick. I actually have it this time. Last time I did not have it, but I can go ahead and go to the most recent video of Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, if I pull it up right here, check the comments section. And he said, uh, if you catch a male, name it a, name the Pokemon after a fruit or vegetable. Fruit or vegetable. If you catch a female, you can name it after any food or beverage. So this is a male, so it will become a fruit or vegetable. And he kind of looks like a vegetable. Not gonna lie, this Relicanth. Another water type. Like we didn't have enough of those. Uh, but Bumble should be able to go for a nice icy wind. Not gonna do too much. He's going for hard knocking rock smash there. Go for another icy wind, and I'm going to just chuck Pokeballs. We caught it right away. I was just about to say. There's a slim chance we might not catch this thing, so we only have four Pokeballs. We waste them all on Mrs. Claus, but you know what? Here we go, a rare it's Pokemon discovered during a deep sea exploration. It has not changed in over a hundred million years. That is very old. We're going to name this thing after a fruit or vegetable. I think we're going to name this thing Celery. That's, I don't know, this man, nah, we're going to name Broccoli. Broccoli, he looks like broccoli if you ask me. Don't ask him what broccoli I've eaten, he just looks like broccoli. Uh, so we're going to name it. I think that is how you spell broccoli. If it is not, correct me in the comments below. Uh, and the name writer is in this town, so I can change it whatever I want. Uh, what I'm going to do is speed up real quick. We can't actually get a bike in this shop, so it should uh, make these travels a lot easier. We're going to heal up with Nerf's Joy and go over here and check out uh, broccoli in the PC. So we're going to move Pokemon and hit Summary. And she is a he is a naive nature with Shed Skin, which is pretty cool. And the moves Tackle, uh, Harden, Rotter Gun, and Rock Tomb, which is pretty cool. Uh, but main reason for me coming back here is to run over to the Pokemart and pick up a couple of Pokeballs. Because, as you saw, we are pretty lacking in the Pokeball department. Uh, I'm going to pick up them in groups of 10. I should be able to pick up one more, one more little group there. We have three Premier Balls, and we are set on that front. Now we can go ahead and uh, run over to the cave. We'll actually fight this trainer real quick just to get that extra experience. Uh, so he's going to send in a Palkia. We're not going to beat up this. He's going to Icy Wind. Uh, he's going for Scary Face, which is, uh, he looks pretty scary, if I do say so myself. If I saw this thing under my bed, I think I'd probably, uh, well, I probably wouldn't have time to, uh, to, to be scared because he's so, like, you know, powerful. He'd probably, like, eat me immediately, but if he was under my bed, I'd probably be very scared. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to sleep in my bed anymore. Well, I don't think he'd fit under my bed. I'm looking under my bed. And there's not a, there's not much room for a Palkia to fit under my bed, unless he sort of like, you know, tucked his head in and like, maybe, maybe put his feet in a little bit. He might, he might actually fit. You know, we're gonna look up how tall a Palkia is. Unfortunately, I only have Siri. I do not have Hey Google. Hey Google can answer the, the question just fine. But we're gonna look up Palkia height, and let's see what comes up. Palkia is. 13 feet 9 inches tall yeah if he, if he squeezed I think you fit in my bed yeah that seems about right all right Palkia you can uh just don't show up under my bed under my bed <laughs> Palkia 13 feet tall that's like really tall I don't I, I, maybe if he laid down that's it all Palkia needs to do to fit under the bed is lay down. So if you feel a lump under your bed, it is most likely a Palkia. There's a Nidoran coming out. We're going to go into the Scizor to try and train it up. Uh, this thing shouldn't have Pursuit. I believe Scizor gets Pursuit sometime soon. I looked up its moveset. Mrs. Claus gets to level 5. We're going to switch her in and switch her back out. I could probably say it against this thing, but I'm not going to take any chances. I'll go into Jurgen and go for the Flame Wheel. Easily kill. Mrs. Claus goes to level 6, and we beat the Ninja. Now, Mrs. Claus should be taking hits a little bit better if she does, like, going for Pursuit. A Driftlim here, which would have been pretty cool. I would have named this thing Cauliflower because the thing on top of his head. But, uh, unfortunately, I caught a Silly Fish Man. We have a Growlithe. I was a bit scared of that Growlithe with Intimidate, which is kind of funny. I mentioned that in the first episode. It is funny that Growlithe got randomized to have the Intimidate ability, even though I randomized abilities. 
and that's a pretty cool sprite. I've never realized Dragonair's uh, sprite in this game, and it's pretty cool. I have to say, he's, he's looking up. That's that's a nice sprite. Sh props to Game Freak for making such a cool sprite for Dragonair. I never noticed that. I haven't I haven't really seen a Dragonair. I never really played too many randomizers on uh, on Pokemon Platinum as a kid growing up, so I never really had a chance to see Dragonair. This is a cast form on the other side of the uh, uh, English. There's a cast form on the opposite side of the screen, and it's uh it's a bit scary to me. So I'm just gonna go into my Weavile and quick attack, and that thing is dead. Mrs. Claus goes level eight. Which is pretty nice. I'm actually kind of afraid to use Mrs. Claus against some things uh, because they could have something like Arena Trap or Shadow Tag, which I'm pretty sure happened uh, an episode or two ago, uh, where something had Shadow Tag. I don't remember what it was, but it was uh, very scary, and I almost lost something. And I would not like that to happen to Mrs. Claus. We're gonna go into Shiny. He's going to Roar. That's I almost just lost my my uh, what should we call it there my scissor because I was just like speeding up and I almost clicked a move with it so that wouldn't have been good uh, we're gonna go into uh, this thing might have pursued this is probably a really bad idea okay good okay we're crisis averted everybody we're learning pursuit speaking of she's become the one thing that she fears the most unfortunately we have a TM can we get a good move double team that's uh it's not very good for my team but it's whatever, man. We're gonna we're gonna live with that. Hopefully, we had a good TM soon. We did actually get one for Weavile, which was Icy, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can rock smash this boulder real quick while we're looking for an encounter with uh, Bumble. Uh, and we get a Destiny knock. I thought that's a Destiny bond, but that wouldn't make any sense because Destiny bond is an attack, not an item. We have an encounter here. Can we get something powerful? It is a Clefairy, uh, which is pretty cool. I don't mind having a Clefairy. We're gonna go for Swagger. Have this use itself, uh, and then we're just gonna go for Pokeball. So we got the Clefairy in one hit. Now. I've run out of names using the comments, so we're just gonna come off of one off the bat. It is said that happiness will come to those who see a gathering of Clefairy dancing under a full moon. That reminds me of Keanu Reeves' description, and it makes me really sad. Uh, but let's think. Well. Well, it said moon. So we're gonna type moon. Okay, okay. Okay, moon. Moon. Moon Man! It's Moon Man! Hello, Moon! It's the man in the moon! Oh, that's great! I love that name. I love Moon Man now. I kind of want to add Moon Man to the team, but then looking at our team, I don't. It, it's it's pretty stacked right now. I, I don't think I want to change anything. You know, if we can evolve our, our Whizcash and our, our Ponyta, or our Barboach into Whizcash and our Ponyta into Rapidash, our team will be pretty, pretty powerful if you do ask me. I'm sorry if you hear that. I'm a bit sniffly right now, a bit, just a little bit under the weather. Not really anything serious, just my nose is a bit stuffy at the moment. We have Moon Man, the male Clefairy, timid nature with motor drive, which is pretty cool. You know, boy, Keanu Reeves was a uh, was a a happy Pokemon that had Volt Absorb, and now we have Moon Man with a uh, with motor drive. It just reminds me so much of Keanu. I miss him. I miss him He's right here. I forgot to change this after I, I didn't save and I never changed the wallpaper back to sky. Poor, poor, poor Keanu Reeves. But let's, let's take a question of the day. Very related to yesterday's, but I have had a chance since last episode to use Hero in Smash. And it is incredibly busted and fun. So let me know, what is your opinion on Hero uh, in Smash Bros? That is the question of the day. Be sure to answer it for a chance to be named after a Pokemon in this series. Uh, so that, I think... Hero is incredibly fun. It is pretty busted, but the menu is does take a little bit of getting used to. If you don't play Smash, you won't know what I'm talking about. If you do play Smash, you will know what I'm talking about. It's simple as that. Uh, we're going to run into this house. I believe the name is in here. There is no one in here. Never mind. Gardenia. That is Gardenia right there, but I believe there's a TM back here or a regular item. It is an Iapapa Berry. I was, you know, I was just thinking it was going to be an Iapapa Berry, of course, yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Gardenia. This I'm this town's gym leader. My last challenger was awfully speedy guy. Actually, his name was Barry. He told me about you. He said that another challenger's on the way, so that made me antsy. At my gym, no one gets to the battle of the gym leader, me, until the end. The challenger has to beat all the other gym trainers first. I'll be waiting for you in the back, trainer. Don't disappoint me. Well, that's very nice of Gardenia. You know, it's funny because Rourke's gym is one of, like, the only gyms... Well, I wouldn't say one of the only gyms. But it's, it's, most gyms have you battle all the gym trainers, uh, and Rourke's gym doesn't really do that. You can sort of just skip, uh, around them, so that's probably why she does say that. Uh, because also the, tra the trainers don't challenge you trying to say multiple words at once. She says it on Burmy. 
I'm not having trouble doing the Berm, I don't think. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Ice Wind. A Tyrannitar comes out. That thing might have pursuit. We're gonna go into a Hulkat and Water Gun. I, have to re I just realized that this thing is not a a ground type. This thing is going for Screech. I'm kind of scared. We're going to Shiny the Flygon and Sand Tomb. There we go. That was scary. If that thing had pursued it, I would have 100% lost Barboach. Pass or I would have made a speedy return to the team. If I do say so myself, and I do, uh, we're gonna let this that that time really flies. You know what was the point in having that little green leaf go all the way around the clock when it could have just stopped over here? I don't know, but you know what? It's apparently it's 6:15 in the game according to that flower clock. I don't know how well a flower can tell time. We have a leader, Joe. We're fighting the gym leader, guys. She tricked us. She's the gym leader. Oh my goodness, this is the scariest fight I've ever had in my life. A polywhirl. A polyworld more like dead. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Claw can actually come in here because this thing has one HP. What? It has Wonder Guard still? Are you kidding me? This man, he tricked me. I was gonna bullet punch him because if you don't know, Shedinja only has one HP because it normally has water. Whoa, water. Wonder Guard. I saw that Red Jazz panicked. Wonder Guard, which means that it only gets hit by super effective moves. Excuse me for a second. Whew, sorry, I had to sneeze there. I mentioned I've been a bit stuffy recently. Uh, but a Regice is coming in, and last time we fought a Regice, Jurgen did so good, I may as well go into Jurgen again. Hopefully the thing does not blow up, because if this thing blows up, I will be very sad, because there will be no more Jurgen in the team. Flame Wheel almost kills, and it went for something. So, we're fine on that front. Jurgen grows to level 20, and the Flower Lady gives me $500. You know, I wish I had $500. That would be pretty cool. Like, just can you just give me the $500 through PayPal, right? Right now, that would be that would be pretty cool. Uh, jump, and we're fighting another flower woman, and she sends out a man type, and uh, a man type is a flying type, and I don't really want to deal with a flying type right now, so I'm gonna go into. You know what? There's nothing I can really go into, so I'm just gonna ice him. Uh, raise leaf, raise leaf. That's it. Raise leaf is indeed the move. Uh, she is going to do that for me. And I'm sorry I've been using speed up recently, these battles just would be very tedious and I realized that I was not getting very far in every episode so I decided I would try and speed up a couple of the boring battles such as those. I definitely won't speed up the gym leader fight. We we're going to run all the way back to the, the Pokemon Center, made a nice easy shot into the door and we are going to fight Gardenia and we'll probably have time for a little bit more, probably raiding Team Galactic's building after that which is pretty cool because the episode is only 15 minutes so far. Uh, hopefully you are enjoying it. Be sure to hit the like button if you are, but we're going to fight Gardenia. She said, you kept me waiting. I am Eternal's gym leader, Gardenia, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be a f this will be fun. Let's have our battle. We have Gardenia. What's her actual name? It is Wellington. I knew her name was Wellington. That's why I gave her the terrible British accent. Off the Wellington and wants to fight. She sends our Dragonite! What is with Jim Leaders and having Nux Pokemon? It's level 20, are you kidding me? Oh my god, I should have trained, I should have trained. This thing is level 20, oh no. I hope it doesn't have a flying type move. We're gonna go for Icy Wind, it goes for Leer, that is not good. If it has like Brave Bird, that's not good for Bumble. Hit the Icy Wind. Okay, Bumble, <laughs> I hope Bumble will kill with an Icy Wind. It's quad effective from an Obama Snow. I would hope a Dragonite goes down. A Dragonite does not go down, but it does get its speed lowered. Hopefully another icy wind that goes for super potion. Okay, I don't think it'll even have 50 HP. Yeah, so this will kill. Yeah, okay, big threat gone. Thank you, please and thanks, but that's not even like the scariest part. The scariest part is that our first Pokemon's level 20, and my highest Pokemon's level 20. So that's that's not fun. <laughs> not for me. Maybe for her. She's like, haha, you're weak, but not for me. An Ivy Sword. You know, that seems like a Pokemon she'd actually have. Uh, what I can do is go. Actually, I'm gonna go to Mrs. Claus. And then switch back out into Bumble. He's going for takedown, which does a little bit of damage. Hopefully this thing does not have a poison type move. Uh, because that would very much hurt Bumble. But an Icy Wind should do plenty to this thing. Probably a two-hit KO. Uh, yeah, just barely a two-hit KO. Which is nice. Get that nice speed drop. And it goes for a Sleep Powder, which misses. Which would be pretty annoying if that hits. We get the quick claw to pop. Bumble coming in clutch. Don't think it mattered. But it's nice to have anyway. Hitting him with another Icy Wind and taking out the Ivysaur. 
Bumble gains 301 experience, Mrs. Claus gains 301 experience, and grows to level 11, and sending in a trap inch. I think I already have the best Pokemon for the job out here with Bumble. Hopefully it's like level 22. Yes, it is. Okay. I do remember that the Rose Rage she usually has is level 22. I don't know why I didn't think about that. And it avoids my Razor Leaf. That's not good. It goes for Faint Attack. How much is this going to do? Bumble, you can take it, right? Okay, it only does 15 points of damage. That's not too bad. Getting the quick claw pop one doesn't matter, but you know what? At least we know it works. Yeah, you, got, you always gotta test your quick claw because they always maybe they have the faulty wiring. They're out of batteries. You never know. One shotting her ace. Bumble clutching out another gym battle. If I did not have this Obama Snow, I do not know where I'd be going to level 343. Nope. No, it's not going to level 343, John. You idiot. It's going level 21, gaining 343 experience. That's it for that match, though. She gave us a, a, a pretty penny right there, I have to say. She said, I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. She grants me the Forest Badge, added to the layout really quick. Now, blop! There is the Forage Badge. Forage Badge, Forest Badge. There's the Forest Badge on the layout. Hopefully it looks nice and shiny next to the coal badge and above our death counter. It says two and shouldn't say two, but it does say two. She said we can use cut outside of battle. Now that I have two badges and all Pokemon receiving trades up level 30 will obey. Unfortunately, I cannot trade in this game. Unless it's an ingredient trade, in which case, thank you, Gardenia. Very cool. Uh, she gives us TM86, which is dig. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why that's your favorite move, but uh, more power to you, actually. I would consider giving that to my Flygon. So we're going to check out if Flygon can learn Dig. Flygon cannot learn Dig, but B B Bumble can learn Dig. Alright, congrats Bumble. Bumble wants to dig a hole, you know, fill it with snow. Because that's what Bumble does, obviously. Bumble's a snowman. Snow woman, my bad. Uh, 2019, you can be whatever you want. Uh, but we are going to switch up the party real quick. We're going to put Hulkat and Mrs. Claus in the front because Mrs. Claus is in fact a pretty decent level. We're going to have to teach something Cut, which is unfortunate. Let's see who can learn Cut. It's just going to be between Mrs. Claus and Minivan. Is there anything in the PC that I think can learn Cut? Because if there is, I would gladly take that out. Uh, oh, I would gladly take that out. Uh, let's check Clefairy. I'm not going to make a layout change quite yet. Uh, we're gonna switch Jurgen out. I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm gonna switch Jurgen out or not. Uh, we're gonna check. Can Clefairy learn Cut? Clefairy can not learn Cut. Uh, we can may as well just go through the entire box uh, of Pokemon that makes sense that it would learn Cut. Uh, really, the only thing I can think of is uh, is Marie learning Cut. So we're just gonna try this on Marie. But if not, we're just gonna give it to like probably Weavile, probably Minivan. Uh, Marie cannot learn Cut, which is unfortunate. Panini, come on, Panini. Uh, we're gonna put Panini back. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to give cut to something, which I don't really want to do, because I don't want to waste a slot uh, on her move set for cut. But you know, we do have to do what we have to do. Uh, we do not want to teach dig. We want to teach cut. So we're going to have to get rid of one of Minivan's moves. And I think I will pick Screech because I rarely ever use Screech. To be fair, Weavile probably won't learn too much in uh, in her days. So learning Cut isn't too bad of a thing. You know, I have my two stab moves. I'll probably get rid of Icy Wind one day for something better. There's always the move deleter. We have another TM here, which is Howl. Which, uh, again, I don't really need. Uh, we, can tr we can see if anyone can learn it. It would be pretty nice. Uh, a, b a bunch can bunch of Pokemon can learn it actually. Uh, it might not be too bad on Jurgen later on when he has more physical moves. Uh, so it's just like maybe if we can get a nice physical like spark that would be pretty good because you can take on electric types. We have a team clerk grunt that I'm pretty sure is Looker. There's my guy Looker, uh, the lonely investigator. He says hello, it is me. Me. Haha. -ha. I have startled you guys. I am after all an officer of the international police. It's only natural that I be a master in disguise. What? What are you doing bro? Put, put it back on, put it back on. No one's looking. Put it back on. Put it back on. Why is this man so dumb? He literally took off his disguise in the middle of the enemy base. Are you kidding me, bro? Incidentally, you're a first-rate trainer of that I'm aware. I therefore think you will be okay. But I, uh, but I must warn you to be careful anyway. Also, word of advice. This building has two stairs. One of them is a trap. It must be. But the crooks of Team Clerk. They do not, they do not appear, how shall I say, smart. Uh, that that must be true because they're, you know, they're staring at you in the front door and, uh, you know... They are, uh, 
they're not really doing anything. We have a sign here. Uh, this is the path you chose to glory. Well, I know that's the right staircase, but I still want to take on the uh, the battle real quick. So we're going to speed this up uh, because the episode is running a bit long. I'm not sure if I will take on Jupiter in today's episode. I'll probably make it to Jupiter. Not sure if I'll be able to take her on today because uh, the episode is getting a bit lengthy. This episode just fly by. I don't know how it happens. But this method with the hidden power and an ingrain from the Lilith, which is not a problem. We're going to go for Fane Attack and Flame Wheel uh, onto the opponent, and it's not really doing anything. I'm not too worried about this fight. Uh, hopefully, Mrs. Claus is not allowed. That's a lot scarier. I do not like that. We're going to go for a Flame Wheel on, or a Fane Attack on the Gardevoir and Flame Wheel because I know the Huntail cannot touch Jurgen because Jurgen does have Water Absorb. See, I remember that. Uh, hopefully the Gardevoir goes down, it just barely lives, that's fine, you're going to go to and the Gardevoir goes down. Good thing I didn't have Flash Fire, because that would have been annoying. Jurgen caught the Huntail off guard, I knew it would happen one day, the, the Huntail fell from my, my room, I left the fire type in on purpose, I'm not stupid, you're stupid. Looker told me that, who's Looker? Don't worry about it, Team Clerk. Don't worry about it. That guy at the door, don't you know, don't even look at him. Uh, we have a guy here. He doesn't want to battle for some reason. We talk to him. Uh, but there's a Luby Colo on the screen. I think his ability triggered, but I didn't see what it was. So uh, we're not going to worry about that. But that is a grass type, and I'm pretty scared of grass types. So we're going to go into uh, into minivan and icy wind uh, for a while until this thing dies. He goes for try attack, and that's kind of doing some damage. So we're going to go into bumble, and bumble is going to uh, icy wind and take out the uh, Luby Colo. So we are going to... Do we have any paralyzed heals? We do not. Uh, we're running low on healing items in general. I think I'm a bubble mail. Oh, I missed the jingle. Oh, I'm sad now. We're going to run back to the Pokemon Center real quick, like, and heal up just to make sure that uh, our team is good for the rest of the the, uh, the Team Galactic, Team Clark headquarters. My bad. Uh, you know, I would hate to uh, not have my Weavile available. My only dark type on the team because you know weavile hits pretty hard this guy does not want to fight me which is completely fine we have some computer nerds over here we're gonna just talk to them see which one wants to fight us we have a magikarp i think it would be a sin to not kill this magikarp using uh mrs claus we're just gonna go for some pursuits he can't really do anything to me and that's an easy kill and it gives us no experience which you know i probably should have expected because it is a magikarp but uh I wanted to kill it anyway, at least Mrs. Claus got a kill, which is nice. Uh, this person has a Sphero, which I know has Pursuit. I, I can almost guarantee you this thing has Pursuit. So we'll go into a uh, Bumble, that's not the right move, but it kills anyway because that thing is trash. Uh, we're going to go into Jurgen here for the Skrupi, another Skrupi, I saw one just before. Uh, but a Bronzor comes in, we'll stay in. I was going to switch, but I, I clicked the wrong button, not gonna lie. I wanted to switch into Scizor, because I know Bronzor does not carry Pursuit. But I did click the wrong button, so we stayed in with Jurgen. Jurgen killed just fine anyway. We're gonna run up this way, and another two people. Does this guy want to fight me? Uh, he does not want to fight me. Let's see what this sign says. Question not and follow this path, the road to success. Thank you, sign. But I'm going to go and talk to this nerdy man over here. He is going to uh, have a level 20 hop it, which uh, I want to go into Mrs. Claus. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna use an orange berry and get him back to full. Her back to full. I'm just gonna bullet punch. Uh, yeah, Z. Okay, I'm not too worried about Mrs. Claus being paralyzed because she is, uh, level 11 and I'm probably not going to be using her anyway. We have a Choba Berry. The amount of berries we found in this playthrough is, uh, very abnormal. We have an Odd Incense, which I'm pretty sure, uh, what does the Odd Incense do? Let's take a let's take Gander. Uh, Odd Incense, it powers up the moves of Psychic types, which we unfortunately don't have. Uh, this episode is nearing 30 minutes, so I think we do actually have time to take on Captain Jupiter of Team Clerk. She is holding the Pokemon hostage and talking to this bald man, but let me go and get my Choppleberry, because I'd hate to let that go to waste, but we do have to confront her, so let's talk to her. He says, hey, did you want something? Wow, silly me. Oh, wait. You know, I never got that. I... <laughs> You know, I saw the old man move, and then she starts talking. We're going to keep that voice. She said, oh, silly me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon? Fine. Ah, Jupiter, we'll deal with you. Uh, I sort of progressed into a southernish accent, but uh, that's Jupiter's voice from now on. Hopefully I remember. Cool trainer female Dudley sends out a Squirtle. I'm pretty sure I'm leading with my Barboach, so that doesn't really scare me. Well, uh, what can this thing do to me when I set up an amnesia? He's going to withdraw, but I have another amnesia, apparently. I, I clicked over to Mudbomb, it didn't register. Uh, but he's gonna go for Bite, which does a little bit of damage. He's gonna go for Bite again, and 
think it was a flinch. We went for Mud Bomb one more time. Low the accuracy, he goes for Bite and that doing just a bit too much damage for me. Just a bit. If he was doing any less, I could probably stay in. But we're going to go for Razor Leaf and kill it with Bumble. Nice and easy like. And uh, in comes a Reggie Rock, which is not what I wanted to see when my water type is down to 15 HP. We're going to go into Shiny the Flygon real quick, like female Flygon. Looking really powerful. How much level is this? Uh, it's level 23. I really hope this thing doesn't blow up. Uh, I'm going to sand attack. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> it'll miss if it does blow up, because I'm kind of scared of this thing. And I, oh my goodness. Okay, I have to rely on the fact that this thing, if, I have to rely on the fact that A, it won't blow up, and B, if it blows up, it misses, because I set up a sand attack. We're going for sand that's doing absolutely nothing. But I didn't do the chip damage. It goes for another curse. This thing is going to hit like a freaking truck with plus two attack. We're going to actually go for a sand attack right here. And I'm pretty sure going for Sonic Boom is more beneficial. That's his third curse. I really am kind of scared of this thing. We're going to go for Sonic Boom. I think it'll do a little bit more damage. Uh, oh yeah, that's doing just a bit more. He goes a berry, which is a citrus berry, which is not good for us. He goes for Stomp, which is really going to hurt. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of damage. And I only have four potions. We're going to have to try and talk. This is nuts. This is even scarier than the gym battle. You know, I thought the gym battle was going to be scary, but this is, uh, this is way worse. He goes for Stomp and misses. Thank God for the Sand Attack. We're going to go for another Sand Attack. And he gets the Stomp. Oh my gosh, that does so much damage. There's no way. If he gets a crit, it is over for Shiny, and I would hate to see that happen. He's going to go for a Stomp and connect yet again, which is unfortunate. Okay, we live on 19, and he's free from the Sand Tomb. We have to wait until he misses. This is our last Super Potion. We have to wait until he misses. He goes for Rock Throw and misses. Okay, we're going to set up another Sand Tomb. Get that chip damage every turn. I think that's our only hope right now. He has three curses up and he's hitting, like, his four curses up and he's hitting like a truck. I'm just going to have to sit and sand attack it and hope it misses its moves. Uh, at this point, I know two Sonic Blooms will kill. The first Sonic Bloom connects. He gets down to red. He goes for stomp. He misses. Okay, okay, okay. Faint attack hits. Faint attack hits, right? Faint attack hits. No, no. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, wait, wait. Faint attack, faint attack. I find he's cursed. No, no, he's cursed. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God, if he had, oh my God. Oh my God, if he had landed a stomp at plus five, he would have immediately killed my Flygon. Jeez, bro, Shiny, Shiny is really holding it down. I, if I didn't, oh my gosh. If I didn't have this Flygon, I don't know what I would do. That, my heart rate, if you could feel my heart. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay though, our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mars collect the energy from Valley Windworks, we're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on a little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. Uh, the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruling center. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. Alright, thank you Jupiter with your incredibly uh, manly sounding southern accent. Uh, he says, Team Clerk. That, that Clefairy, they said, Clefairy comes from space, hand it over. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Their, <laughs> their logic baffles me. That's that's crazy. Uh, he's like, oh, he wants to come to my cycle shop. So I'm going to uh, run down here because this episode is uh, over 30 minutes at this point, And I do need to wrap it up so it does render in time for upload. At, so I can get it up at a somewhat reasonable time. We're going to cut and we're going to run back and heal. Uh, I don't think I will grind in between episodes because my team is pretty on par. Uh, it's okay to be a bit under level when you have a team as stacked as this. So you, you have the, the amazing team. The only thing that's really uh, a little bit lacking is uh, Mrs. Claus. I'm going to say Hulkette. Hulkette is on par. Mrs. Claus. So I will train her up in the next episode. But that is going to be it for today, guys. We ended off the episode in the same spot that we started. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button to show your appreciation. No, I always say that. To show your support for the series, I do appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you feel so inclined. And leave a comment to the end after a Pokemon. Answer the comment question of the day, which was, how do you feel about Hero in Smash? Uh, but that is going to be it for me for today, guys. That's, yeah, that's how you say it. Uh, have a nice day, and I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. Bye, guys.